we kind of meandered to various topics. So Kazumi, you, mm. you mentioned Tate and you mentioned quite a few buzzwords. One of the words you mentioned was the patriarchy. Yeah. Okay, so um, wh what is your sense of the patriarchy? What is the patriarchy? I think it is a system um, created by men, you know, not necessarily purposefully, but you know, throughout, time, throughout history, that is meant to necessarily serve you guys and prioritize and, and give you guys more, uh, more of a privileged leg up in the world. I could be butchering it, so if you really want to, we could Google it. Well, I mean, the, the common one that I hear is it's a system of society or government in which men hold the power and women are largely excluded from it. Do you feel like we don't live in one? Well, I, I reject the sense of the patriarchy. I reject that there is a patriarchy. So you feel like you and I are like equals right now? In, in what way are we like equals? Like just in general. In terms of rights and privileges, I, w I would say we are equals. In fact, you, I, would you say, I would say women have certain rights and privileges that men don't. Like what? Like what? Like what? Well, for example, in the court system, you, there's, uh, women are more likely to receive custody of their children. We often hear this term systemic, systematic. The court system throughout this country is a system, and that system oppresses men because men are not awarded custody of their children at similar rates to women. Men are deprived of their children in this country and in most Western countries and actually most countries in the world even. It's not assumed 50-50 custody. Would you, change place, would you trade places with me? What do you mean? Like, would you be a woman? I, I don't see how that's... Like, would, do you feel like my life is easier so you would want to become me? I think in some ways men have benefits and I think in some ways women have benefits. Okay, But I'm, I'm in my body, I'm... Yeah, but I'm would, saying Would you like, trade with me? No, I, I mean, well, I... If I wanted to be taken seriously in certain places, I feel like I would like to be a man. You know, I feel like it's really hard to navigate the world sometimes as a woman because there's always, almost always like a sexual intonation with everything I do. Obviously, I put myself in a position I mean, by being a sex worker. Do yes, I just said that. And, and then porn. before that, but even before I was a sex worker, I was always sexualized. Whether I was worked at Shake Shack or when I was an office girl or when I was in college or when I, when I was a child, regardless, regardless if it was consensual or not, people always exploited that part about me. So, of course, right now I am going to profit off of it because it's my choice, right? But whether it was my choice or not, I, that has always been a, a thing that has happened happened in my life and it's something that I'm sure a lot of other women can agree would, with would you would you prefer it that you were not sexualized the way you are because I mean what, at this just, point oh, I monetize ahead. off of it right so well that's what I'm I enjoy it now but there was a period in my life where I did not enjoy it because I had different goals and I wanted to do different things but can I also I'll, I'll let you come in in just a sec so you object to the sexualization however if we were to do away with this sort of one dim in the sense that women get this and men really don't you would actually be out of a career right now what, what are you talking about i'm saying well this the, the, you know there's a difference between choice right so i am choosing to put myself make myself a sex worker and become an object of sexual desire when it was not my choice and that was not my job then i didn't want to do that it is now so now i make my, so yeah it is my life but let's say if i had a different if I had different goals and I wanted to do different things, like for example, what she said, you know, she wants to get into acting and I don't necessarily always want to be sexualized, despite the fact that I am a woman, then honestly, maybe being a man would be easier. So that way I could navigate things without having to worry about the fact that sometimes my opportunities come to me based off the fact, off of my own fuckability. And actually, I, maybe I just want to do things based off, the, off my skill set. You know what I mean? Like maybe I would want to be a man for certain reasons. Okay, so I'm... I see, where, I see where you're going, and I don't disagree with you that women tend to be more sexualized than men are. I think men, to some degree, are sexualized also, and I think men are... Women are viewed as sex objects, and men are viewed as success objects. And I know some of you disagreed there. Well, what do you mean by sex? Sex? Se well, you, you've heard this term... You've, you've heard this term sex object, right? Yes. And women will say, well, we're viewed as sex objects. Perhaps that's true. But it's also true that men are viewed as success objects. I feel like both of those go both ways. Like, 
men can be seen as sex objects too. And sure. Yes, they can. But I think women a, can also be judged on how successful they are. It's well, yes, but it has a greater impact on men in terms of your success. Does it? I think yes. if you look at a, in terms I, in terms of your ability to attract a mate. Do you, do you think a guy's primary concern with you is how much money you make? Do you think that's most men's pri primary thing they look for in a partner? Yeah, is but, how much money a girl makes. But then, but then but it, I don't want to stay too long on on that because I yeah. want to bring it back to the patriarchy. I do want to try to. So I don't. First of all, I think there are things that may there are, there are parts of our society where I guess it's easier to navigate as a man and easier to navigate as a female. Now, if we look at across the board. We're fine. It's there's a glitch. Don't worry about well, it. If we look across the board and look at like world leaders and people who are in positions of power, are they men or women? Generally speaking, I think there are more there are more politicians and more CEOs who are men. So who are the people that make decisions? Who are the people that make decisions? Are they decisions? men or are they women? Well, if there are more are they men, men or are they women? If there are more men in power, then yes, they're men. Yes. Yeah, so I do feel like we are in a systemic place where most decisions are placed by <clears throat> men. And obviously, I feel like they are usually favoring men. You can agree or disagree, but if there are. That's fine. But if there was more women in power, then I'm sure there would be different decisions being made. If we talk about, first of all, our rights as women and our bodies, then yeah, I do feel like. There are, but there are many multitudes of reasons where I feel like men are able to get into positions of power easier and they're able to make decisions that affect all of us, men and women and in between. Okay, so you, you touched on a lot of things there. You talked, you, you talked about rights, women's rights, when, when it comes to, uh, right, I'm assuming you're talking yeah. about abortion. Um, I, there are more men in the higher positions of power politicians, CEOs. And, and entertainment. Well, I suppose it depends which form of entertainment. But, yeah, but most mainstream media is controlled by men. But here's the thing. If men are at the top of, top of the pyramid, right, the patriarchy posits that it's a society built by men for men. I agree with the first part. Society certainly was built by men, but it wasn't for the benefit of men. What do you mean by that? There's not some conspiracy. There's not some cabal of men that got together that have all the power and said, we want to empower our gender. Powerful people want to empower themselves. They want to, power, they want to empower powerful people. People with power want to continue having power. It's not about their gender. I think if we look historically at the fact that, okay, like for example, like women within over a century ago were finally given the ability to vote, right? If we look at historically, women historically have not been able to create the roots of being able to, I hate that chair, sorry, I like lost I'm my so point. I know, I, we should have swapped <laughs> That it just made me combust beginning. my point. Um, what was I saying? Hist if women were able to, let's say, vote the whole time, right? And they were able to have the same opportunities as men 300, 400 years ago, like for example, when the US Four, was founded. 400 years ago. No, I'm just, I'm just saying like an arbitrary number of years ago, right? Like let's say it was, like, it was like all parts of all governments and all, all, all parts of the world were like able to give women this exact same opportunities to make decisions for everyone else as men are, we would be in a completely different place. Women are only recently able to do many things, how, how the long, same thing as, as men. How long has civilization been around? A long time, dude. Thousands of years? Yes. How, 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 long, how, long, have we, how long have we had democracy? In this country? Sure. Um, quite recently in the grand scheme of things. Okay. And who has made choices for most of history? Men or women? Men have made the majority of choices. And but it's not, they didn't make the choices for men. By the way, there have been uh, of course there's been, Of course, of course, but whatnot, who is a majority? Since we're talking about generalities, we're talking about men. Men, but it doesn't mean that, <laughs> it doesn't mean that they, they have and somehow... Who? Do people Hold on, let me finish. It doesn't mean just because men were in power doesn't mean that they oppressed women. It doesn't mean that they made laws to benefit men at, 
and I think, at the expense of women. So why weren't women able to vote for such I'll a long time? I'll tell you why. First of all, voting is a very new thing. Well, why weren't they able before, to vote at the same time as hold you? Hold on. Before there was voting, it was tyrants and kings and monarchs and uh, dictators. So voting is a very new phenomenon. Okay, but... I think you're like so, pretending to be dense about the point. I'm not being dense. No, I'm it's all men, sense. right? And regardless, no. how long mostly do you think, men. How long do you think all men have had the right to vote? Whatever. Do you think dude. it was the, when there I, were kings? Sorry, it's just so late. And honestly, this is such a, this conversation is like, you understand what I'm saying. And I'm pretty sure they understand what I'm saying. It's really clear but, that for the most of history, men have had power. And no, of, of course, wrong. men, of course, have you're had wrong. the ability to really benefit people that were just like them which are usually other men men had families and wives and daughters was it always on love you said earlier that that that's is a new concept a, that's kind of irrelevant it is absolutely relevant because this, this is focused you on said, power you and said not men on... you said men had power what percentage of men had power what are you talking about you think all men had power that is not what i said you said men had power General, which men gen- Generally speaking, right, most men had power, Brian. No, 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 no. <laughs> a very small minority of men throughout all human history had power. Yes, and they were men. They were all men. Yes, they happened to be men, but yes. they didn't set up society for the benefit we're not saying, of men. Okay, we're not saying that they purposely went out of their way to create a society where women are in a position to fail. It's You're right. The powerful only aim to make themselves more powerful and the fact of the matter is is that it was mostly men it's not like it's not really like they were making decisions with women in mind because there were no women around like that it's literally that easy you mentioned voting so for the vast majority of human history nobody had the right to vote a very small percentage during the ancient greek and roman history people were voting and they were men are you talking about like the Senate and the Congress? Like, yeah, let's, they, they okay, were, let's yeah, talk about every, the, like but it doesn't. OK, voting, whatever the fuck. I, look, men I'll tell, decided when women could, women could vote. I will tell you because well, women fought for their me, rights to do that. Let me ask you a question. If if men wanted to hold power and men had all the power, then why would they have allowed women the right to vote? It was it was men that granted women the right to vote now because it was the right thing to do. Now, <laughs> do you hear yourself, bro? Like, what do you mean? Men, I just men, said it was the right thing to do to give but, women but the no, vote. But no, well, of course, I hear myself. No, but before so that, much, dude. But before that, men granted women the power to vote. Like, because men were in, men were in power. You just proved our point. I like, don't, but I don't think you realize how different society was 100, 200 years ago. It was very different. Mm-hmm. But speaking on the right to vote, so. Eric, if you can find in the uh, infographics chart, there's a voting one. Um, so the reason that men widely got the right to vote bef- before women... Who gave women, men the right to vote? Huh? Who gave men the right to vote? Who gave men the right to vote? Let me, fin- let me finish my point. <laughs> so men got the right to vote before women because men were subject to military conscription. Men... If you elected a representative to represent you in the government, that representative could then vote to send you to war. Men being the exclusive, let's say, victims of forced military conscription ought to have more of a right and a say. And men men got a privilege and it that privilege came with a corresponding responsibility. That corresponding responsibility was you have to go to France and die in the trenches. You have to go get trench foot. You have to go get chemical gassed by the Germans. That was the corresponding responsibility. That's how men got the right to vote before women. And there women, were women hold out on. there too. There were women in World War One. Weren't there? You th- you think there were female soldiers in World War One? I? I think that there were female workers aiding the military during were, war. Were 